committee here in Rome since uh, 2016. Um, I was born in Rome uh, 32 years ago and I'm proud to, 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 to cover this, uh, this role. For me it's an honor because uh, Rome is an ancient city with, with many problems but also, but also with uh, many challenges. So, I work hard every day to ensure uh, to my citizens uh, the best uh, service as possible. Uh, the attack, the, our company that uh, manage the transportation system, attack uh, as a very old, uh, very old fleet of buses. The average uh, age is uh, 11, 12, uh, 12 years. That is a very, very high age. And we have, uh, we, we have more or less uh, 300 lines of uh, buses, 50 lines, uh, or maybe yes, something, also something more are in the, in the city center. We strongly believe in, in a, a new building of, of the open space. Reduce space for private car and increasing space for, for bus lanes, for uh, bike lanes. We think this is the key to improve our, our transportation system in, uh, in Rome and we are doing a lot of new uh, investment. We, we bought uh, new buses that uh, they are coming in service the next year, in 2019, uh, building uh, the new bus lane. So it's, it's because here in Rome we have a, a very uh, important problem with private cars that uh, they uh, cover all, all the space of the road. Many Romans uh, use the private car because they need it. But there are also many Romans they they could avoid the, the use of the private car, but they use it uh, maybe for habit, maybe because in Rome uh, cars are also a status symbol. But in driving in the city center of Rome. There is a lot of public transport. We have uh, two lines of underground and half. We have tram, we have buses, uh, we have a car sharing system that is very, is very spread on, on the city. We have uh, 60 kilometers of uh, underground, the line A, the line B, B1 and line C. Then we have uh, three uh, metropolitan train service. The underground, uh, they across the, the center, the line A and B, they are, they are uh, an X on the, on the city center. So we can see that the, the city center, there is enough public transport also because we have the numbers of the modal share of the people and in the city center more than 50% of the journey are covered by the public transport. So we are working on some uh, new uh, underground, new metro lines. We are working on the line C. We are building uh, two, two stations in the city centre. One is the most important, is at uh, Colosseum. And then we are working also to, to build a new station in uh, Venezia Square, in, uh, in uh, St. Peter's and then to get cycling. So we are we want to improve also the underground system. Uh, then we have uh, 40 kilometers of tram. We have more or less all the tram lines are all in the city center and the uh, trade rings. We strongly believe in new tram, new tram lines because tram is uh, more or less cheap to, to build it and uh, it's it's a good opportunity because a tram can uh, can carry up to three, four thousand people per hour. So it, it's a good opportunity in Rome. The time for the building is it's, it's short, uh, one year, two years. So, so we are working on, on the sun, as they said before, on the sustainable, sustainable urban mobility plan. We are working for, for new tram lines because we, we think it's the key because you avoid traffic. It's, uh, it's maybe these are the two most efficient uh, system rooms. Then we have a uh, car sharing system that is more or less uh, 1,500 cars around, around the city, uh, 400 scooters, electric um, scooters, yes. And then we have the 
the train operated by the Ferrovie dello Stato that is the national uh, operator and the train also arrives into, into Rome. We have many uh, stations around the city that are used also on the day also for the, the daily journey in the city. Uh, today in Rome we have too much cars, too much cars it means pollution, it means uh, uh, we have uh, many, many people every year that they, they dead on, on, the, on the streets, the, the car accident is it's a very big problem. And we have no choice, we have to reduce cars and improve uh, transport, public transportation system back then, also because it's important for the quality of life, because uh, a city with less cars is a, a city where the air is it's better, where you can enjoy the space. I strongly believe in in the positive effect that we have when, uh, for example, build a bike lane or a pedestrian zone because you allow people to, to speak each other. Because we strongly believe in a bike sharing system in particular to cover the, as we say, the, the last miles of the, of the journey. Because uh, sometimes people don't use the public transport in particular because they are afraid of the last miles because uh, you have to wait uh, 20 miles the, the buses for new operator with new rules, uh, more uh, specific rules and so we, we believe that uh, we can have a new operator in, uh, the next, uh, in the next month. We are building a lot of new infrastructure for bicycle, we are building uh, new bike lanes uh, and so this could be a, a boost for, for the new operator in this system. I know that today is Sometimes difficult, but it's important that we try to, to use uh, uh, as more as possible the, the public transport because it's, it's uh, the, best, the best way to, to cover the, the, our city, to respect uh, each other, to respect our history because uh, we are, Roma is uh, maybe the, the most important city in the world for, for the heritage, for the cultural uh, Center. So it's important to also respect the, our monument, our history, and if you cover a, a short, uh, short distance by feet, for example, or by bicycle, you can uh, improve the, the quality of our, our city.